Hello, we're in Malta and at the Antique Steelers Association Fair in two days' time, we're going to be taking along this really lovely little, little painting, the Mary Fedden. So, briefly, Mary Fedden was married to Julian Trevelyan. That is a Julian Trevelyan signed limited edition print. This is a Mary Fedden original gouache on paper. They visited Malta more than once. They spent a lot of time in Malta. They knew the characters of Malta, the artistic characters, and they made their representations of Malta. My personal view um, is the Malta Suite by Julian Trevelyan is the most original and exciting uh, ever depiction of Malta. Um, with, with that, it includes anything prehistoric, it includes anything uh, in the Caravaggio era, anything recently. Um, and I, I think having looked at what, what the Maltese like and what the English like and what people like generally, I think that, that tr the Trevelyan Malta Suite is far and away the most original and best and most varied depiction of Malta. That, along with the depiction, which is original, it's, it's a very uh, uh, pleasing, attractive depiction of Malta, and it has this uncanny way of catching the mood of of, of the time. And when they were, when they were painted by him, uh, that was what Malta was like. I I remember Malta in the seventies. I don't remember Malta any earlier. And and, and anything like that now in Malta is a vestige or or or, or remnant or, or a leftover of that time. So when they when that Malta suite was painted, that that was a a representation of of the Malta. It's not a it's not a question of someone forty years ago or fifty years ago backdating what they're painting to to try and recapture something. He was capturing what was going on in the countryside in the in the quiet parts of Malta. He did cities as a, he did cityscapes as well, rather like the ones which in England did later on. So. He, he was the first really to, to, to do it and a very, very colourful and I, I, if you have if you're time, you're interested, look up Julian Trevelyan, T-R-E-V-L-L-Y-A-N, Trevelyan, and you'll see this Malta suite and, and that's my tip for the top. Buy those, you're going to make a lot of money. Right, so we've got Julian Trevelyan, the English artist, we've got Mary Fedden, the wife. They shared a workshop. Uh, in, in Dulwich in London and just wanted to point out the blues are the same on both paintings from different artists. Uh, they did do paintings together. We actually sold one this year for 10,000 euros and um, the price of this one which is, is 9,000 euros. We won't be, not, won't be reducing it. Um, so that would be at the show at 9,000 euros. Uh, this one is a 1977 Fedden, and in the in the range of available Feddens, that's quite an early Fedden. She's still alive now. There is a, a lot of a re, quite recent 10, 20 year old Fedden stuff out there. There's obviously the prints in, in in multitude, but when it comes to an original of Walter, you're really grasping straws now. What comes with this picture is a 1990s frame. I estimate. I don't think it's any any older than that. I don't think it's any more recent than that. But you have this beautiful picture of Gozo. And I think she did use Trevelyan as a source of ideas. And as I say, I think they use the same pots of paint. And they, they were, the, the pictures aren't similar, but they are in line. Now this one here has got a hut in it which makes it a Maltese hut. Now, if you're in doubt and you're saying, oh, it could be somewhere else, well, it's not somewhere else, it's Gozo, because the hut in that is the same as the hut in this other one. And it's the same as that hut in reverse. And this one is a Maltese picture of still life of pomegranate figs and melons. That's Gazu Garb, Gozo. The lighthouse is depicted as well at the top. But you've got the same sh shaped hills, these very strange denuded hills. And uh, this picture here, in this catalogue from 2013, the London catalogue, 
This picture was put up for sale by Richard Green, which is an English art gallery. This was put up for sale in 2013 at £40,000. £40,000. So, yes, it is an oil on canvas. Yes, it is larger. Yes, there is more going on in the picture. There is more architecture, there's, there's more detail, there's more foreground, more colours. But um, the, the um, you can see that these things are these things are not cheap, are not cheap and, and were never going, ne never were cheap. Uh, I would say over this one was painted in two thousand. This one was painted in seventy seven. So you have to value it with different aspects in mind. Uh, so that one there was a price guide of a Maltese painting by Fedden. She had these these catalogues put together, and sometimes they did recent paintings and sometimes they did archival paintings. From her own possession or gallery's possession. That will be put in with the picture as an object of it for conversation. Also with the picture we will be putting in this book which has a print of Fedden showing Umdina and in there also that's the one of Umdina by Fedden. These are really interesting. Uh, I beg your pardon, it's Gozo, not, 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 uh, Umdina, it's going to be probably the Citadel. And, but it has another one in of, of, of Gozo, which is a shepherd with goats, similar palette of colours, similar colour of chalky ploughed fields or scrubland. So you have a similarity. This book here is a boxed book. This is a limited edition book. And in here, Chucked in with the paper at 9,000 euros, no discounts, even 10 euros, I won't do it. This picture here has a ink signed signature by Fedden and the book is numbered by hand 34 of 100. So if you buy this picture off me next this week, you get the, the Fedden limited edition book, which is hand signed and, date, and uh, limited edition. You get the catalogue with the price of a Maltese picture. You get the picture. That's 9,000 euros, that's in Malta. Uh, just while we're talking uh, Malta and Fedden, uh, I also will be taking to the show a book written by Julian Trevelyan. The, these books, there's a number of them he did. This book has got the original dust jacket and obviously that's his, his image on the front. Uh, there are a number of books he did. There's another one called Indigo Days, which we have, sort of have had a few of. There is also a book about printing, about the mechanics of printing, which he ha has also done. But this book here, I haven't read it, is going to be for sale. This will be 200 euros for that one book. That will not be reduced at all either. That is the final price. Uh, the print there is one, 1,000 euros. So you can see there's some interesting stuff. If you're feeling, uh, if you're in a good mood and you feel like spending some money, come and buy that Fedden, the books. By that that Trevelyan picture and his book. It's not a multi Trevelyan, it's a London Trevelyan, but it is signed by the own, his own hand and pencil. It is titled The Thames. It is number 52 of 75. Thank you.